Joey Bahar. You got Whoopi Goldberg sitting on there talking about she got reparations. Where? Where's the check stub? Where's the receipts? And it's just okay. Oh, she can say this stuff. Where's the fact check behind Whoopi Goldberg's reparations? That's my question for you guys. I want to ask you guys a question. Shout out to Shamika Gray. What's good with it, Shamika? What is it that the Democrats fear about Killer Mike so much? They fear Killer Mike because he's not a simp enforcer. He's not going to get on there and let those dingbats on The View sit there and say a bunch of nonsense. He's going to stand up for himself. And that's exactly what you're not supposed to do if you're a black person. The stand your ground laws don't cover you. And you're definitely not supposed to say anything back. Man, screw that. Say stuff back all the time. Be belligerent. You know what I'm saying? Be belligerent. Shout out to my man, uh, Black Manta. Black Manta said, chilling. I'm waiting for my Ethereum XRP and XRP to go to the moon. Ethereum is on the way there. XRP, I don't know if you caught the tail end of that stream that I did yesterday. It was long as hell. You know what I'm saying? But um, Ethereum, it, it increased about, what, 10%? They say that uh, by the end of March, they're expecting a, what is that? 25% increase to about 75 cents. So it, 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 hopefully it comes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to uh, Patrick Taylor. Uh, Tyler, I agree. If you guys agree with Patrick Tyler, Whoopi Goldberg is another one who's outlived their celebrity expiration date. Give me a thumbs up. If you guys disagree, give me a thumbs down. The View has a big issue with Killer Mike. How many people read the article that Huff Post wrote about Killer Mike last year. He's one of the most dangerous rappers since Kanye West. Why are these people dangerous? If you're a black male and you have a functional brain inside of your head, you're dangerous. Good. Let's show people how dangerous. Would you guys agree? Let's show people how dangerous. Shout out to my man DSB. Killing it on the support. Make sure y'all show some love to DSB. Throw some flames in the chat. Radiation emoji. Ducks. Everything. You know what I'm saying? With the $10 super chat. DSB says, we may be a small channel, but you got many behind you, my warrior brother. Yo, and I appreciate that. And that's the facts. I definitely appreciate y'all, man. Shout out to my subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about Killer Mike. We're going to talk about Kanye West, and we're going to talk about these Democrats always attacking. We're going to talk about these Democrats always attacking black males every time they open up their voice. Oh, every time they open up their mouth, including uh, simp enforcers that the Democrats have. Okay. Let me ask this question. Why is it that the Democrats can always find a simp enforcer to try to shut a black man up? What's everybody so scared about what black men got to say? Do it hurt? Voice too deep? What's the problem? Too much testosterone? What's the deal? What's the dealio? You know what I'm saying? Rapper Killer Mike clashes with the view after praising Brian Kemp, don't lie on me. Killer Mike was also pressed on why he hadn't endorsed President Biden yet. Why does he have to endorse President Biden? Let me ask you guys this. How many black men in the building endorsed President Biden?